Hey, what's going on my tech brothers and sisters? Welcome back once again to Tech of Tomorrow. I'm Eric, your host, and today we're bringing you guys the full review of the new Gigabyte GTX 650 Ti Boost. Now, this is their Windforce Overclocked Edition. Now, before I jump into the actual video, I wanna give a special shout out to Adata for making this video possible. Now, I know many of you guys are into upgrading your video cards, but also another great upgrade you can do when gaming is upgrading to a faster SSD. Now, Adata has had their SX900 series out for a while now and it's gotten rave reviews across the internet now recently a data has just let out a new firmware update that makes this kick-ass drive even better with that said let's jump into the review all right folks so right off the bat let's take a look at the physical aspects of this new geforce gtx 650 ti boost wind force edition from gigabyte let's start out differently though this time let's start out at the rear io we can start off the bat we have two dual link dvi connections single HDMI, and single standard display port. Now I'm gonna turn the card to its side where you guys can see there are two fans. Now this is an open air fan design. It allows cooling to go, but it also relies on your system. The better airflow you have in your system, the better this card will actually work. Unlike those little twin the spinner things that look like blowers on your cards, which cool the card good, but are noisier than hell. And eh, they're just kind of old school. So why we've got the card right here, let's take a measurement of it. The card size is in at nine and a half inches. As far as being sideways, the card is four inches high. And we see the card is at one and a half inches in diameter. Still a dual slot card. You guys can see the PCI 3.0 interface right there. You guys can also see some of the mechanics right here of the card and the cooling. You guys can see the copper heat pipes running all through there. Take a look at that, get a close up of that. You guys can see all the cooling fins here. You guys can see it's the Wind Force Edition. We have a single six pin power connector. You can see all of the heat pipes clearly running through the system. So the GPU, it gets sucked up into the fins, then out through the heat pipes, the fans blow the heat out, and your system will push the air out of your system, keeping the card running as cool as possible. So there's also a single SLI finger up here on top, and that's right, this card does support SLI. Now you guys can see that the PCB gets extended by the fan. The actual size of the PCB is about seven inches. So the PCB is seven inches, but the shroud and the cooling, that's what gives it its extra girth. With that said, let's jump in now and let's talk about the features of the card. The card's based on the 28 nanometer process. It has 768 CUDA cores, two gigabytes of GDDR5 memory and 192 bit memory interface. Now the total memory bandwidth is 144.2 gigabytes per second. Now this thing has a clock speed of 1033 megahertz right out of the box has a memory clock of 1502 megahertz and a boost clock of 1098 megahertz. All the basic features and video are there, the TXAA, adapted V-Sync, the boost, all these things are still prevalent here in the card. Now the card does come overclocked out of the box, but because of the great cooling, you should be able to push this even further. Now let's take a look at the test system. And right now we've got in the background 3D Mark running. So you guys can see that running right there and the frame rates going on. And you guys can see I have this card in the Red Dawn Extreme, which is our dual Xeon E5 2660, 80 gigabytes of RAM. Ooh, we have an OCZ PCIe. That's right. It's a PCIe SSD boot drive. And we have two 480 gigabytes by Kingston HyperX in RAID 0. All in all, a solid system. Now, with that said, let's jump in and let's check out the card and how it performs. And I think you guys are going to be surprised at how cool this card Hard runs compared to the others. Let's rock.
so there you guys have it. You guys can see now from the stores, from everything else about this card, that it runs cooler, quieter, and faster than a reference-based card. The card is also very small. It'll fit into many different systems. Power requirements are really low on it. But if you're looking for a card that's very well-priced, very fast and very quiet. This new GTX 650 Ti Overclock Bad Boy from Gigabyte is a card you're going to want to be taking a look at. Now, like usual, if you guys are looking for the latest pricing and availability, make sure you guys check out the link in the description below so you guys don't miss out on any of those details. Now, before I bounce out of here and get on my way, I want to once again thank ADATA for making this video possible. Now, for you people out there looking to upgrade to a kick-ass SSD, you're always asking how to support the channel, well, all you got to do is click on the link below the like button Button and check out what's going on with the new SX900 from the people over at A Data, and then you that way you can thank us and them at the same time. So I'm Elric. I hope you guys subscribe because if you don't know it, we're having a giant 100K contest, and there's a couple different ways to win. You can do it online, or you can do it on our website www.techoftomorrow. So I'm Elric. I'll see you guys later, and um, hey, I'm off. It's a beautiful day out in sunny California. I'm going to go and enjoy it. Me and Buddy the dog in the park. See you later.